Commissioners are hosting a series of State of the District town halls while the state makes changes to Gwinnett elections. And there are changes coming in the form of road improvements in Grayson and Norcross. Those stories and more in this edition of Eye on Gwinnett. I'm Deborah Tuff. Are you curious about what's going on in your district? I sure am. Gwinnett commissioners are hosting a series of state of the district town halls, a first guys for the county. Though each town hall will be tailored to the commissioner's district, you'll also get a snapshot of the county's priorities. Here's vice chair and district three commissioner Jasper Watkins. It's not that I'm going to be preachy or trying to be over educating folks, but just giving them the basics, you know, where to go to find the information they need and give them graphics of what the new precincts, what the new voting areas, what the new lines look like. Some of the sessions will be streamed live on Facebook. Check out GwinnettCounty.com to see the full list of dates, times, and locations. Speaking of education, here's something you should know. In February, Governor Kemp signed into law new district maps for the Gwinnett County Board of Commissioners and Gwinnett County Board of Education. It's called redistricting and is required by law every decade to rebalance districts based on population data from the census. Eligible voters will receive a new precinct card with their updated districts around April in advance of the May 24th general primary and nonpartisan general election. Now you must be registered to vote by April 25th by April 25th, to cast your ballot in the May 24th election, check your voter registration status at the URL on your screen, mvp.sos.ga.gov. In other news, two road improvement projects jointly funded by 2017 SPLA sales tax and two city governments will soon be underway. The Grayson project will widen Rosebud Road with a raised median and turn lanes from Grayson Parkway to south of Buford Drive. The project also includes a pedestrian crossing, sidewalks, curb and gutter, and drainage improvements. In Norcross, the right turn lane from Metlock Bridge onto Peachtree Street will be realigned with new masked armed traffic signals. Very cool. Are you feeling social? We sure are. Follow at GwinnettGov on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for more county news and information. And visit our website, GwinnettCounty.com, or stream hundreds of our video programs anytime, anywhere, 24-7 at TVGwinnett.com. One last thing, folks. COVID-19 cases are declining, it's true, but variants can still emerge. New research shows booster shots are still helping resist the coronavirus and prevent hospital stays. Find a shot near you at vaccines.gov. I'm Deborah Tuff. See you next time.